Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from TheRightTrader.com here. Today I'm going to be going over my Ethereum price prediction um, and sort of price analysis and forecast. Um, I have done similar videos for Litecoin and Bitcoin, so you guys can go ahead and check that those out. They'll be in the uh, description uh, below this video. And I have also made a video on the best cryptocurrency to invest in. So those will all be in the description of this video if you want to check them out. Um, but today we're going to be focusing on Ethereum and where I think the price will be heading in sort of the next five years. And I'm going to go through all the time frames, you know, what I think is going to happen in the, the short term, medium term, and then uh, I guess five years out. Right. So right now um, is a good day for crypto. Uh, a little bit of a bounce here, which is good to see. Uh, Ethereum has taken a little bit of a, a fall behind Bitcoin, though. But I mean, they're about at a ratio of a half, right? So uh, usually uh, Bitcoin, it, I mean, yeah, uh, usually Ethereum's market cap is about half of what Bitcoin's is. Um, so, and I think that's a good ratio for the two right now. Uh, I would expect that to continue. I would be a little bit worried if Ethereum uh, fell behind a bit, but if it keeps the, the sort of uh, ratio of a half, that's a good sign to see. I think we should continue to see a ratio like that for the next um, few, I mean, it depends, I guess, few months maybe. Um, the only reason why I would see a, a big difference in, uh, in that ratio is if Ethereum has some kind of um, big bullish news. Um, and I'm not exactly sure what that could be. That could be some, some big, um, big investors or something backing it. But um, yeah, unless something big happens and that's particularly positive for Ethereum, I think we'll continue to see that ratio of a half, like I said. And getting to the price here, um, I should also mention that Ethereum is also one of the, the newer cryptocurrencies, right? It hasn't been along as long as, um, as Litecoin and, and Bitcoin. Let me just switch over to Coinbase. Uh, by the way, guys, Coinbase is uh, my favorite place to buy cryptocurrencies. Um, I also have a link to that in the description. If you guys haven't bought cryptocurrencies before, uh, go and check them out. Uh, if you buy $100 or more worth of uh, cryptocurrencies, you get $10 free worth of Bitcoin. So yeah, it's a pretty good deal. Um, and like I said, link in the description. Um, what's interesting though is that Ethereum hasn't been around uh, as long as Litecoin and Bitcoin. So there's already a bit of a difference in how um, we can sort of approach the price movement, right? Because if we look back, uh, Bitcoin sort of had this uh, run up, then crash in 2013, then run up again, okay. And Litecoin follows pretty much the same pattern. Um, and I guess a bit more extreme pops, obviously, because of its, uh, it, because it's it's less expensive and stuff. And I mean, there's multiple reasons, but yeah. Um, but they 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 both move pretty similarly. And then Ethereum is sort of a newcomer to the game, right? Where um, where its movement has been different. So basically, what's been going on with um, with Ethereum is it got this this initial really nice run up, right? Crazy run up. Uh, then it crashed back down a bit, right? Lost about half its value. And uh, it, it went back, tested back the top, and uh, came back down, right? What's nice to see is that it's still in a really nice uptrend, okay? And has actually had a bit more... Um, it, it's a nicer rise, to be honest. I, I like uh, Ethereum's uh, graph better than uh, Litecoin and, and Bitcoin, to be honest, because... I feel like Litecoin, um, you know, this this kind of reminds me of 2013, but um, it's, it's a really fast rise and the pullbacks were, were minor, so it, it hasn't really, um, it's not a very healthy, um, it's not very healthy price action is what I'm trying to say, okay? Same goes for Bitcoin, right? It's a little bit better, but it's still a pretty powerful move with, with not much pullback there. And Ethereum, however, has had some really nice pullbacks with, with some good... Um, support levels and and people buying back when it was low so that's a really good sign you know um on on a coinbase the first top was actually a bit lower than the second top i believe which i don't think is accurate compared to the actual uh what actually happened coinbase prices uh tend to be higher because it's um of their exchange and arbitrage and stuff but um it's it's an interesting sign to see that it did manage actually to go higher on coinbase but uh the truth is, is that the um the price actually was a little bit lower um, the second time around, which is actually a, sort of a sign of a double top. But what's good is that the the uptrend uh, held and and we got our uh, 
second bounce higher than our first bounce, okay? Which is which is good, right? The, the uptrend is fully intact. And, and that's what I'd like to see continue, right? I don't want to see it break below this uh, uptrend. I, I mentioned this in my Litecoin video and my Bitcoin video. Um, I think these cryptos need to see this uptrend continue because if it if we see them sort of fall through, uh, it could be pretty bad, right? Uh, I wouldn't want to see something like 2013 happen again, and I think if we lose the uptrend, it, it could happen. Um, what's important for Ethereum, though, is is really going to be sort of keeping up the good work mainly, and I think um, as far as the ratio goes, I think it could maybe sort of fill in the gap a little bit uh, compared to Bitcoin. Not completely, though. I mean, this is this idea in the Ethereum community that it could uh, surpass Bitcoin's um, market cap. And of course, I mean, everything is possible in this space. But I, I don't see that happening simply because Bitcoin has the first mover advantage. You know, they're, they're well adopted now in the space and they have the biggest backers out there, really. I mean, it depends how you look at it. But I mean, um, you know, that, that's where the money is right now. That's where the money seems to, to be going and will keep going, at least in the, the larger uh, amounts. And... Ethereum, you know, has has its own uh, positive things going for it. I think the the Ethereum uh, Enterprise Alliance is a really powerful um, uh, positive sign for Ethereum. You know, there's there's companies that are backing it, and it's important it's important to to notice that it, it's in a little bit of a different uh, ball game and and space than than Bitcoin and Litecoin, right? Since it's it has more to do with the, the developing aspect and uh, and companies. Uh, backing it and using it so it's a little bit different I guess but um, the, the the main idea is here and and the fundamentals stay the same like I said the uptrend and everything um, and, and yeah as far as actual price like targets uh, what I think is I can definitely see Ethereum sort of moving up into the $600 range maybe in the next two years and uh, and for the next five like five years I guess um, I think if everything keeps on going well I think we could see it at, uh, above a thousand. Uh, I think around maybe one thousand two hundred, one thousand five hundred, right? Uh, same thing. Normally, keeping the ratio with uh, with Bitcoin, maybe closing the gap a little bit, like I said. But um, yeah, sort of the same ratio would, would be a normal sign to see, right? Um, I mean, if, I'm sure that Ethereum holders would like to see it surpass it, but like I said, that that just seems hard to do, um, at least right now with with what's going on. It, it just seems unlikely, but I don't think that's a problem. You know, I mean, that's a that's a massive return still if that pans out correctly. So, so like I said, I think 1,200, 1,500, sort of those levels are would be a good place for Ethereum. Um, and uh, and yeah, I mean, that, that's pretty much how I see it. Um, I, I'd be interested to know what you guys think, uh, where you guys think Ethereum is heading yourselves, right? This is just my opinion, but, um, you know, like I said, stuff looks good. Um, it's price action is healthier in my opinion than Litecoin and Bitcoin, um, and you know that's a pretty big positive in my book. Um, it, it really seems like people are are not letting it uh, fall to the ground, and I mean, what more do you want, right? So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about Ethereum. Um, May should go and check out my other uh, cryptocurrency price prediction and videos. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, I'll be making more videos on cryptocurrencies and trading, investing, all that good stuff uh, in the future. So go ahead and subscribe to be updated when I come out with more stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, everyone.